So the Backblaze hard drive stats for 2017 are now available, which is exciting. Sorry if I sound a little different, I have a little bit of a cold. So I love that Backblaze does this. Backblaze is a company that has built a storage system, uh, on, you know, online cloud storage, if you're going to call it, and they've built this on a very different platform as opposed to just building your usual enterprise by, you know, Dell EMC or whatever you want to buy for your storage or my favorite uh, free NAS and true NAS. They built it with consumer equipment and have built an interesting company. So you can read all about that there and they have a lot of statistics they've shared. And uh, I really love companies that share a lot of their stats, especially when they have so much at scale. Google released a little bit of drive information a while ago, and I don't know if that was the inspiration for this. I don't remember how this all started, but they've been doing this for a long time, which is really awesome. So they're, they've been doing this since 2013, and they give you their smart status, and they're currently, as of uh, 2017, there are about 88 million entries totaling 23 gig of data. You can download this from our website if you want to do your own research. But for starters, here's what we find out. Now, this is something else I really like. They don't just give you the stats. They give you, if you want, all the stats so you can download and create your own uh, charts and statistics out of this. So if you want to look at the data in a different way, go ahead. And I'll leave a link to this, of course. So. These are all the higher drive reliability statistics. One of the things they do is unless they have a uh, higher quantity drive, and they do do some qualifiers in here of you can't make assumptions because if they only had a small sample size and one of that drive fails, you're gonna look, oh no, that's a high percentage. So I'm really gonna focus myself on drives that have a larger quantity install because I think that gives you better overall. So this is the 2017 fourth quarter list. And Seagate, I mean, this is something we've seen uh, computers come in and have bad Seagate hard drives. And, you know, it's easy to get jaded and say Seagates are bad, but you also don't have that other side of statistics. When you think about statistics, you're like, well, I've seen a lot come in. Well, if Seagate was the most sold, no matter what, even if they had the lowest failure, it would be the most come in. But this is where things like the hard drive reports in Backblaze really give you a good idea because you can go, okay, out of 7,220 drives, 17 failures resulting in a 2% failure rate with a cumulative drive days of 308, uh, 308,864. And these are like cumulative times uh, that the drives have been up and running. And that's a pretty high percentage for the, uh, that. In, it's a good sample size of 7,000 drives. Uh, here's 9,886 drives with 1.3%. And we're seeing this kind of consistent here. So out of 14,000 drives, 1.2%. So these are still pretty high statistics. This is where I say there's a problem with the sample size. Like, I mean, they're giving you the stats for like, you know, we had 437 and four died. Could have been the same four out of the batch. I mean, there's always other statistics that can go into that, but that is makes the percentage higher, but the sample size is lower, so take that for what it's worth. Now, the drives that you see in absolute consistency, and so we have 14,797 drives versus the 14,396, really similar, similar drive days, much lower failure, only 0.45%. And this is what's led me to really enjoy the SG, HGST drives as, and, and such as I feel the same way at least, and I don't have the sample sizes they have, but we've installed some of these and they've been very reliable. Um, we've built a handful of free NAS boxes with them. We do like the uh, WD Reds as well. I've not had failures with those uh, that we've built for some of our uh, Unify NVR camera systems we put in for clients. We built them with uh, rate arrays of those drives and right arrays with HGSG drives, and both of them have really seemed to held up well. Uh, the HGSG drives, uh, like I said, we built with them. They, they're they good. I don't have a problem with this. And this is something you should consider when you're building storage arrays is how much speed do you need, but how reliable does it need to be? You know, my gaming system at home, I want a really fast drive uh, for that. So you kind of play that into a factor. So you may take something less reliable, but I, you know, always make sure you back up, which I'm just, I beat up people all the time, back up, back up, back up. And, but when you're building arrays, you, you know, you still should back those up, but you're hoping they don't fail often. So you may take a little bit of a speed hit, uh, but for the redundancy in drives and for the reliability of drives, because they're going in something that you want to be running for a long time for all your data. Now, they also updated their three-year statistics, which is really cool. So we can look at things at an even bigger scale and get to understand these. So same thing we're seeing, you know, here it is, uh, eight terabyte Seagates. We see, you know, 0.96%, 1.2% on these ones. So over, you know, a lot of drives over time that they have in here, but we drop down to these HGSTs over time. And 
we're still 0 0.34, 0 0.33, 0 0.63%. So a slight increase, but still a lot less than Seagate. So uh, take it for what it's worth. I'll leave a link to all these drive stats, but uh, this is always interesting to, you know, to look at so you can kind of get some ideas for uh, reliability. And I mean, these are going in their data center. So they're not just kind of casually sitting there like my gaming computer, which is not on every day. Uh, I don't play games all the time. It's kind of you know, when I'm in a mood or when the kids are playing it. Uh, so it gets used, but not even not near to the intensity that a data center uses. So this is some really solid usage on these to see how they're holding up, especially because they're, like I said, a lot of these are consumer drives that you can get, or maybe some are prosumer drives. But the uh, reliability stats, really interesting to look at, and uh, especially when you see some of these really high failure rates with some of them. But granted, when you only have a drive count of 60, doesn't take much to fail, so don't get too excited about that. That's a really small sample size, so take that into account. We don't know for sure if how bad those uh, really are, but it, it, you know, we'll see when the drive count gets higher if it does that. But Seagate's uh, track history in the past has been, eh, you know, uh, much higher than HCST. I mean, these percentages that they have are still the lowest on any of their charts, and we'll see how that plays out. And hopefully, the hard drive companies are looking at this and working with them uh, to figure out what the failures are and how they can make them better. Uh, but these kind of statistics when companies release is so helpful to the greater community. Um, and the fact that you can look at the data yourself, if you have another idea of how you want to look at it and track some of the drives in there, they give you that data. So I'll leave the links in the uh, description below. If you'd like to kind of hear, like, subscribe, and all that great stuff, hopefully this was uh, enlightening for you and it makes you think about the hard drive purchases a little bit. Thanks.